True Confessions. Here's Chris Cuomo. Next. Want to get out of a ticket? Find out how. But it's not this. Confessions of a Cop. Coming up. As upset as you are about that pricey ticket, don't let your rage run wild and back into the squad car. He's just added reckless driving on top of that speeding ticket. But sometimes the rage comes from the other side of the badge. Here's an example in a Minnesota detox center where a drunk and disorderly man in the wheelchair verbally threatens a social worker. The cop doesn't take it well. Sometimes they get their life threatened. It's very hard to sometimes control your temper, uh, regardless of how much you've been trained, regardless of how much experience you have. People make mistakes. But a rogue cop in a bad mood could arrest you for anything. That's what allegedly happened in this New Jersey traffic stop, where the driver had run off and left his passengers behind. There's no driver around. Driver's gone. State Trooper Justin Hobson knows that because he was right there that night, the officer on the right. He says his senior partner was upset when the woman passenger didn't cooperate and suddenly decided to cuff her for drunk driving, even though he knows she wasn't behind the wheel. Why don't you uh, turn around and put your hands behind your back for me? You're going to be under arrest for DWI. Oh, relax. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. He was being a cowboy and not a cop. Hobson's partner knows she wasn't driving. He says so on the dash camera. The guy who was driving apparently ditched and she got in the car. How can abuse continue to exist? Hobson says he found out when stunned by the improper arrest, he tells his partner that he won't back up the false story in court. And he looks at me and he said, you better keep your mouth shut. As Hobson writes in Breaking the Blue Wall, when he refused to lie on the stand, he was targeted by a rogue group of troopers who called themselves the Lords of Discipline. He sued and settled for $400,000, although the state denied wrongdoing. I was physically assaulted. I was ostracized. Hate notes were left on my locker. Kane insists that cases like Hobson's are rare. Negative stereotypes of abusive, corrupt cops aren't the norm. 